Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at tarifyhealing.com. Hope you guys are doing really well. This is the weekly reading for Capricorn. And this deck is a bit hard to take out of its box. Um, but I'm going to be using the Oceanic Tarot for your weekly reading. And then I'm going to be pulling a card from the butterfly oracle deck and this is for the week beginning the 16th through to the 22nd and so let's see what is showing up for you guys capricorn so just shuffling up the deck with the intention of receiving a message that resonates with you guys so sorry about this situation with my hair i was outside and it seems stuff was just flying everywhere and so i'm going my hair but okay let me refocus my attention okay reading for all of you guys Capricorns for the 16th whoop, through to the 22nd and let's pick some cards okay Capricorns so oh one flew out so let's just include that one uh two um and then we're going to pick a butterfly oracle card for you guys and you have do, 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 do. Volunteer, that's your card, Capricorn. I think that's a good card for you because I find that Capricorns are really helpful people. So, um, the healing card, I believe that this would be temperance in the traditional tarot. This is the angel of the ocean and it's healing. That's a really beautiful depiction of temperance. And the nine of pentacles, which is gratitude, which is really good. And then the three of wands, which is motivation. And then the card that kind of slipped out as an additional card is the star card with hope. And then you obviously have the volunteer card from the butterfly oracle. So what I see for you is I see that if you're looking for any kind of financial success and you're trying to bring that in, you're trying to manifest that for yourself. I can also see that if you have been, um, if you're self-employed or anything like that, that money and finances will be looking really good for you. I feel like a lot of you guys, because you are a Capricorn, you are very hardworking, you are very determined and you do, um, really commit yourself to the things that you, um, want in life and so what temperance is saying that this this is your your progress always kind of comes like slow but sure but the good thing about that is that you know because it is slow but sure it's almost like you're you're able to gradually progress but what you create for yourself is lasting so with temperance showing up it's saying that yeah things may have been a bit slow maybe you had to be a bit more patient than you probably wanted to be maybe things took a while but what temperance does is it's almost like it with with the patience and the time that you take to do things it you take more care you know and because of that it's just done so much better so i think that this is a really good energy for you and it's and because it, it it's um has the keyword healing it's telling you that certain things are being healed away at this time so even though it was like it speaks of a slow progression i feel like what's healing away for you is that is that the movement is going to start to be um a bit more uh it's going to be a bit faster just a little bit uh, I say that because you can, you, the other cards are showing success. So something definitely is coming through. And it's about being appreciative with the gratitude card. Being appreciative for that which you are receiving at this time. Again, you have worked hard. You have committed yourself to something. And you've been patient and, and organized. And also, um, the temperance card speaks of two elements coming together so it is like an alchemical card so it is about uh, creation manifestation making something brand new and being very creative in your mindset and creative with the things that you're trying to do and I think a lot of you guys are working very independently when it comes to your creations so I don't feel like this is like an, a situation where you have like a boss necessarily telling you everything to do for some it could be like that but I kind of feel more that this is leaning on you using your own creative ideas your own abilities to be able to create something really great for yourself and i think that this could be the week where it kind of it pays off a bit more for you or for some of you guys this could actually be the week where maybe you decide to embark on some endeavor where you're going to be self-employed or to pick up um some hours doing something else um that is more um 
uh, where, where you're again you're having to work in a more independent way but um that's a really nice card and with the next one following be motivation the three of wands is uh this card is kind of sealing the deal on that kind of success that i'm kind of seeing for you guys the um thing about this card as well is this it's also about having a vision having a vision for success or having a vision of what it is that you want to create or or thinking about the direction you want to go in it's almost like yeah you're you're seeing things um manifest you're seeing things come together but there's still more to come there's still more um in terms of thinking about the future thinking about maybe how you're going to move this idea to becoming even bigger um doing it in a way that brings in more success doing it in a way like it's almost like dreaming big and having the vision of taking it to the next step what's the next stage is going to be and it with the it, associating with the keyword motivation it shows that you're very motivated to do that you're you're it's not just a it's not just an idea but you actually have the energy to put into this idea and you have the motivation and determination to to see it all the way through as well so and your star card that flew out um the star card again it shows that you're really reaching for goals really reaching for the that which you want to see for yourself you want to achieve you want to go for it and i can see that everything in your your reading is showing that you definitely have the energy of the universe supporting you in terms of what you want to do because for me my depiction of the star card is is one of them very spiritual cards and the star card is is almost like it wherever it it's like wherever that star shines is opening up avenues is opening up hope and because of that hope is showing that um it makes you feel more optimistic about the things that you're doing because it's almost like you can start to see how things are coming together so this is a really good time to really make dreams come true to not just you know think oh maybe one day i'll do that like this week is a good time for if if you've been telling yourself one day i'm going to do this or one day i'm going to do that like this is the week where i feel like you should actually take those things more seriously because it's almost like you can change that one day to actually starting today like to work towards something that is actually going to see you have the things that you really are wanting Those are really good cards and then with the volunteer it could be saying that maybe you're even going to be taking on some volunteer work that may be beneficial to things you want to do as well like i kind of feel like a lot of your cards to me are more speaking about some kind of gain that there is to receive so i kind of feel like you, you may be volunteering like to help other people but there's something that you may be getting back in return like maybe it's giving you the experience that you need like re very valuable experience in a certain area like career wise that can be really beneficial to you maybe later on down the line to be able to receive employment or paid employment or um maybe you might even be helping a group of people that maybe are um maybe they, they might even be vulnerable in some kind of way or need some kind of care like maybe this could be with elderly people with younger children with youths like that kind of thing as well and maybe like you want to go in that direction career wise maybe you want to be employed in a kind of field where you are caring for others but maybe you need to get that experience first or maybe it might be good for you to get that experience just for you to kind of see what the industry is like and um you know how you can progress or whether it's even right for you like that could be another thing as well um even if it's not necessarily related to to care like sometimes there are vol voluntary positions you can get as well in other areas like in admin in business in media and that kind of thing too and that could be another you know maybe avenue that you or something that you may be interested in but i kind of see that there is this pattern of being interested in a field when necessarily you may not have the experience yet and it's like this is a really good time for you to learn and build and create and that could also be why you receive the temperance card first because the temperance card again is about that kind of slower progression so it could be meaning that maybe you're having to kind of start from more the beginning stages and you've had to sort of work your way up or work your way through to these other stages but um regardless of how it is coming about for you um <laughs> that was weird <laughs> regardless of how things are coming about for you i kind of it is it is good because there's movement in these cards so it's showing that kind of progress so peace and many blessings to you capricorn i'll be seeing you bye